Free Peru, officially the Free Peru National Political Party, is a socialist Peruvian political party, founded in 2007 as the Free Peru Political Regional Movement. The party was officially constituted as a national organization in February 2012 by the name of Libertarian Peru. It was registered as a political party in January 2016 and adopted its current name in January 2019. The party was founded in 2007 by former governor of Junin, Vladimir Saran Rojas. Saran is currently serving a four-year and five-month prison sentence after being found responsible for crimes of incompatible negotiation and for taking advantage of his regional position to the detriment of the Peruvian state during the management of sanitation work in La Oroya. From 2011 to 2014, the Superior Court of Junin issued the sentence on 5 August 2019. Sarin had been elected in 2018 for a second non-consecutive term as governor. But his tenure was cut short due to the sentence. Still, he formally leads the party in his position of secretary general. In 2016, Sarin ran as a candidate for the presidency of the Republic for the Libertarian Peru Party for that year's general elections. As such, he registered his candidacy on January 11. 2016 but he withdrew from the race two months later due to little support in his candidacy and also to prevent the party from losing its electoral registration. In the 2018 regional and municipal elections, Sarin took the businessman, journalist and radio host Ricardo Belmont as a candidate for the Metropolitan Municipality of Lima, obtaining 3.89% of the votes validly cast in Lima. At the legislative elections held on 26 January 2020, the party won 3.4% of the popular vote, but no seats in the Congress of the Republic as the party failed to reach the electoral threshold. Months before the election, the party was in talks with the Together for Peru Coalition and New Peru in order to run allied in the parliamentary election. However, due to Saron's criminal profile and many prominent New Peru members quitting their party as the Union materialized. The alliance fell through and the parties ran separately in the election, in which neither achieved representation. Their presidential nominee, Pedro Castillo, unexpectedly took the lead in the first round of the 2021 Peruvian presidential election after seeing a surprise surge in support starting around one month before the election. After his victory in the first electoral round, Castillo asked to dialogue with other Peruvian political forces in order to achieve political agreement. However, he ruled out making a roadmap as Olanta Humala did, thus maintaining ideological discourse. The party describes itself as being a left-wing socialist organization that embraces Marxism-Leninism and Marietagism. It values democracy, decentralization, internationalism, sovereignty, humanism and anti-imperialism. Following his success in the first round of presidential elections in 2021, Pedro Castillo has said that he opposes communism, distanced himself from far leftists in the party and said that he would lead the party instead of Sarin. In domestic affairs, Free Peru is opposed to neoliberalism and states that their party seeks to rescue the minimized, almost imperceptible and dying state from the subjugation of market dictatorship. Free Peru says that when Peru adopted neoliberalism and markets were deregulated, foreign companies assumed control of the economy. Exploitation of labor increased. Inequality grew and the country was led to a neocolony condition. Initially, the nationalization of mines, gas, oil, hydroelectricity and telecommunications in order to fund social programs was a goal of Free Peru. However, in an attempt to appease foreign business interests, presidential candidate has promised that his government would not nationalize industry within Peru. But at the same time he reaffirmed his party's position of defending the distribution of wealth. Sarin has expressed that Free Peru is opposed to Fujimorism. While initially supportive of decriminalizing abortion, the party later came out in support of existing restrictions. Internationally, Sarin has emphasized the party defends revolutionary processes in the world especially in Latin America, Cuba, Nicaragua, Ecuador, Venezuela and Bolivia. Free Peru has shared praise for the policies of Fidel Castro and Hugo Chavez. The party also opposes the Lima Group. Pedro Castillo, 
during his candidacy for the 2021 presidential elections, defended the government of Nicolas Maduro in Venezuela, describing it as a democratic government. He would later retrace his statements, stating, there is no chavismo here, saying of President Maduro, if there is something he has to say concerning Peru, that he first fix his internal problems. The party has also described the Venezuelan refugee crisis as a human trafficking issue with Castillo saying that Venezuelans were in Peru to commit crimes.